Hello there guys, Zombie Squad here and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, uh, we are going to be continuing on where we left off. And we just arrived, or set up shop over at um, uh, Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. So, basically... We're doing good at the moment. But, um... Hmm. Oh, yeah, the other two... It, the other two parts are going to be... Could to be coming out for part one. Because I had to split, I had to split that into a few ma two major parts. Or three major parts. That'll be coming out like that'll be coming out like later today. But yes. Need but first things first. gonna change my attire can't get out of these suspenders I think I'll stick with the, uh, where am I going to need to, now this custom outfit, I'm going to save it. And I'm practically gonna like. Where can I? Sh oh, I can shave right here. Yeah, I'm gonna make a trim. Trimming all facial hair. Hosea said we we can go we need to go see Reverend Swanson over at the station and we got uncle and then the boys are already in Valentine so uh, I think we. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Hmm. Alrighty. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw. 
Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot of money. We'll be back on our feet soon. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. All right. Uncle. <laughs> Ouch. You to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. <laughs> Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. All righty. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Uh, sure. Sure, no problem. There you go. Got the other the horse back for you. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. No problem. <laughs> well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, smell those sheep. 
<laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Mom to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. <laughs> okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Jair's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> oh, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. <laughs> Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you yeah. remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Just park up down the end there, near the stables. That's it. Now I've seen everything. Alright. That guy was in the way. Alright. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're a pair. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. Yeah. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Alright. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the wind. Always oh, thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. On. Here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. Well, that's a wrap cheese, all right. I'll get coffee. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Hmm. All done. Thank you kindly. You do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All righty. And you're already taking that drink of whiskey. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen. <laughs> Good. What? I snuck into this fancy house. <laughs> Acting like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
a train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's the hmm. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Why? Daisy? They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <clears throat> or what exactly? You wanna find out? Yeah, you wanna find out, friend? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away for Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. No problem. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Come on, I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Alrighty. Uh, no promises. You son of a bitch! Ow! Motherfucker! Ah, son of a bitch! What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Oh, boy. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. Mm. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right. Then. Uh. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Out of my way, chickens. Yeah, you're certainly making trouble. Get back here. Right here. Oh, shit. Please do something. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yeah. yes, me too. 
Now please pull me up. Please. Hmm. Please. Sure. All right. Come on. <sighs> you okay, partner? There you go. No. No, I am not. Yeah, it just saved your life from you being dead. Well, you ain't dead. Yeah. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Yeah. Oh, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Yeah. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. <sighs> okay. Let's go, girl. Idiot. All right, let's return this horse. Hey, my horse! Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mission Brims. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Okay. Why well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so worth her. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I must say. You gotta find way with the women, amigo. Yeah. yeah. Regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, about pal. to kiss that guy, <laughs> bunch of... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Mm. I'll get you, motherfucker. Mm. 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 Get your. Mm. Mm. Ow. Mm. I'll pick up my... Oh, 
You get off! Oh, fuck. Ow! You get your hands off of me, you sh motherfucker! Mm. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. No. Oh, no. Ah. Damn it. Ow. Damn it. Ow. God damn it! I suck at fighting in this game, bro. I'm just... I did just start it. Just... Taking the wrong button. Come here, you some bitch. Uh, uh, you get off of me. Mm, kick you in the balls. Uh, now punch him. Uh, 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 take the. Uh, uh. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Hmm. Oh shit. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Hmm. Look who we found sniffing about. Trelawney. Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> Down to New York and miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you, gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's been Sean. held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah. well, then we're dead men. 
land for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's you they want, Coach. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about yeah. me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> oh, I got the gold one. Is that white X always there? Or is it... Where's my hat? Job, Mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. Oh, I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. Hmm. Being with you, Mister. Can I hold you a second, Mister? Can I? Sure. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It Thanks. seems to be held sometimes. Well, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, Mister. Like you've seen sad things. Yeah, I did. Remember with kindness. <sighs> All right, see. You. at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This <laughs> is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The jaws of gunslinger. Yeah, Where give me a bear. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, 
I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? Uh, I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Okay. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but. You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him? Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. Let's see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Hmm. Here or some other flop house. Yeah. Inspect documents. Hmm. How far is my horse? Now I'm probably going to have to walk over there. Walk all the way back. Not again. <sighs> and... Uh, Um, that's what? What the hell? Look on my word. What the hell? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, you poor bastard. What's this? Me. Severed head. Part of the killer's map. Huh. <sighs> So, mental note. Mental note next time.
But mental note, next time get whist every single time you go on a wagon, make sure you whistle your horse. Oh, come on. Horsey, come on. Who's there? Oh. Just me. Look what the cat dragged in. Managing not to annoy folks. Very funny. I was being serious. Sure, Morgan. Oh. Uh, give me my hat. Okay, then. And we got three new. Now we got three new missions back at camp. Hmm. I think I think we should go. I think we're gonna go save. We gotta save Sean. Before I do, Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Not a what? The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Yeah, got that right. Huh. <sighs> Fucking old Driscoll's. Oh, an assortment of goodies. And get down from there. What are you doing? Already full on on that kind of stuff, but okay, boy. Yep. but anyway.
Here's a mysterious stranger. Hello. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There no. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of. But me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed mm. before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Hmm... Uh, what the hell? What the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Hi. Hi. Enjoy your trip from Japan, I guess. No, not settings. I wanted to look at the map. Hmm. I was over there.
Okay, I'm going to sleep here. Hmm. I could make a fire bottle this early. Gonna sleep until morning. But from here on out, <sighs> mm. sorry, I was distracted for a little bit, but either way, so basically, in this, so basically, we just we got a lay of the land in Valentine and basically helped out with and we basically helped out with with Bill and Javier out of a scrap Bill Javier and Charles out of a scrap for getting into a bar fight so and we got to go rescue Sean that will be in this for the part 2 of this episode so See you guys in part two. And have a good day, everybody.